Okay, I have made my way out to Bakong this morning. Bakong is a group of um, maybe four temples, um, four main temples anyway, lots of smaller um, monuments around as well. But this is the main one, it's got um, a double moat and um, that's not the one I'm here to see today, although that one is lovely. The one beyond this one, the third one in this group that's south of the highway is the one that I've come to see. So we'll keep going and have a look at that. I've brought you out to Bukong before, but I just wanted to show you again. Like this is what makes this area so special. It's like these huge old trees. It's shady. There's a dog right beside me. Radio. There's your friend over there too. Yes, what makes this area so special is just the shade, um, just the village life going on. It's absolutely beautiful. So my destination is down here and then a little bit further to the south. I'll see you there. So this is the turn off and you can see the sign up there. It says Pre Monte. That's where I'm going. Not far to go now, a little bit further down this dirt road and we'll be there. But I just wanted to stop and show you how pretty this is and also to point out this lovely eucalyptus tree here. I can actually smell it from here. Beautiful. Signs of home. There's a little house over there too. A lot of cows around here but there seem to be houses close by so uh, I'm not too concerned. As you know, I did have an issue with cows once and it was very unpleasant. A little bit traumatizing, but I think today I'll be all right. All right, look at that there. Might need to abort this mission and choose a different temple. That's deep mud there and I have no idea how far the track is. Mm, I could probably walk in, but I just don't fancy getting mud all over myself and having to deal with the cleanup afterwards. So, um, plenty of other options around here. I might just go and have a look at one of those instead. This area is just exceptionally beautiful. So, I'm heading along this road a little bit further, but just wanted to show you either side of the road. The road is pretty muddy. Um, in places but there's usually a section that's not too bad that you can get through so so far so good everything's just so lush beautiful I don't know if the vibe of this place is coming through on the video but it's like a Sunday morning about nine o'clock there's music on you know just like people chilling, kids riding and bicycles up and down the road from one village to the next. Um, yeah, just, just a really relaxed and chilled out vibe in this area. People doing a bit of this, bit of that, but very slow, very slow pace of life. Yeah, these little areas have really been hit hard as they're on the fringes to begin with and um, even more so now, now that tourist numbers are still quite low. Beautiful bamboo growing out here and there's some water. I think you can go fishing out there. I think that was one of the activities they used to have for people. I know the turn off to get to the temple is somewhere out here. I just need to look at the map because there's so many little kind of turns going off to the right. I'm not sure which one it is. So this is Toto Eng Tanai. I thought that would be a lot more colour on it uh, given the amount of rain that we've had, but it's still quite, quite grey. Um, yeah, maybe you have to come later in the wet season to get the full effect. So I'll certainly do that. Today's just become more about riding around and taking in the beautiful countryside than about exploration of any particular temple. Um, yeah, it's about, what, 10 o'clock now? No, only 20 past nine still. Wow. You can see this is a lovely shady place. Yeah, lots of music playing around here as well. 
really nice so I might go back into town um, south of the highway so the highway was really really busy this morning it was not an enjoyable ride out to Bakong um, after the turn off from the highway it's great but up until that point it was rather unpleasant so I'll go back a different way I think there's a lot of harvesting of bamboo here at the moment you can see that's quite a big body of water there would have been one of the ancient reservoirs I would imagine parts of this road quite muddy let's have a look at the map and get a sense of how much further I have to go before I meet up with the bitumen again Well, the road looks to be quite good heading up there. I just have to go straight ahead. That's north, that direction. And then I'll hit a road that's going um, east-west and I'll go um, west back towards Siem Reap from there. But you can see there's kind of a canal on both sides of this little, little road. And there's a little bamboo bridge going across to someone's property there. And on this side, we've got some farming going on, agriculture. Don't know what they're growing, but it's all on um, raised mounds, as you can see over there. Yeah, there's a lot going on out in the countryside today. Ah. Locals are certainly much more brave when it comes to riding on these roads at speed. I've been taking it very, very slowly. Um, just don't want to slide in this mud. That would be very, very unpleasant. All right, keep going and see what we can find up ahead. Update on the road. So it's not as muddy anymore, but it's really, really rocky. It's very hard to navigate around the rocks because there's just so many of them. One thing I would say is people are very industrious out here. It's a Sunday, but people are still, you know, working the land, um, going around selling stuff, people doing all sorts of things. There's so much to see. So this road will take me uh, west towards Siem Reap for a good while. And then I think I'll come to a crossroads and I have the choice of going right um, and heading north back up to the highway to complete the rest of the um, journey back into town on the highway or I can go on a more local road and then I think I hit the ring road something like that so I haven't decided which way I'm going to go yet um, leaning towards the ring road just because the highway was so horrendous this morning and also because <laughs> when I get to the highway I have to turn left which means I have to cross the traffic which is not my favorite thing to do when it's busy and it's the highway so I might take the quieter road even though it'll probably take a bit longer to get back into town I'm not that concerned because it's still very early and I don't have anywhere particular that I need to be so I think that will be the decision what would you do highway or countryside way a gnarly old tree over there more eucalyptus action people these two right here and if that's not enough there's more over here I think I'm going to collect some leaves. Okay, so I did just stop to harvest a couple of eucalyptus leaves and I've stashed them into my bike. There. All right, time to continue. Look at this planting here, it's so neat. Amazing, and you can see that they're like most mature too least mature down there that's just beautiful way to go using a space that you have so cool I 
I can see the crossroads up here so um, that was one of the most unpleasant 10 minutes of riding I've done in a while it was just so bumpy so muddy altogether very unpleasant I feel sorry for the people that have to ride into town from those villages every day for work um, but it's got me thinking that I may just turn right and go home along the highway uh, just because I'm over this riding now I've had enough and um, here's some cows check them out there we go I like it when they're tethered which those ones are but they look pretty chill chewing their cud just hanging there's a lot of people um, coming along this road selling stuff too like on on motorbikes and carts and um, like a, a truck full of dragon fruit before there's a lady up here selling something from a bicycle lots of people with the loudspeakers as they go that tell people what they've got for sale so I guess that's um something that probably does quite well out here because people don't want to go into town if they don't have to so you know if they drive out and they've got some fruit that you want and it beats the hell out of going to the market in town okay looking forward to getting up to that road up there and getting home to a coffee maybe I'll do a waffle stop on the way home feel like I've earned it somehow <laughs> You can see how hard it is. Imagine how difficult it would be on a bicycle. And it's not a mountain bike either, it's just a city, an old city bike. It'd be very, very unpleasant. And of course, the later it gets in the day, the hotter it gets, and all of this moisture becomes steam almost, gets into the atmosphere and makes it even more humid. There it is, right in front. Bitumen. Black gold. So at this crossroads there's a bit of a market you can see there's a phone shop vegetables there's um, someone selling bananas the cockles there's a bit of a silver pot there's a bit of a silver pot restaurant over there and some shops on the other side of the road just in front of the what as well selling um you know the usual plastic wear, brush wear, that sort of stuff. Yeah, so I think this would serve a lot of those communities out at Bakong. All right. Yep, I think it's turning right to the highway. I think that's what I'm going to do. All right. See you in a bit. Okay, this is the Lotus Roundabout on Highway 6, a little bit out of town from Siem Reap Town uh, in the direction of Phnom Penh, so I have to go back to the left and I'll do that now. I'll leave this video here I think. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.